it's Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> She's whispering something to me as we're going on there. Sweet nothing. Oh, yeah, right. Sweet nothings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was something all right, I can tell you. <laughs> Praise <laughs> God. We want to invite you to service Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. Uh, be a great time to come together with other Christians that love God, man, and want to worship God. Well, you know what this Sunday night is, don't you? What Sunday night? That this is our uh, Halloween, trunk or treat. Uh, yeah, trunk or treat, and yes. out here from five to seven. If you have yeah. children or no, there's children in the neighborhood. Tell them about yeah. it. We're gonna have a bunch of tri uh, cars and trucks yeah. out here. Hey, free hot dogs. Free hot dogs. Yeah. Free drinks. And we're gonna be giving away. Uh, we're gonna do a drawing for some gift cards, and one of them is gonna be a TV. Whoa! So, you uh, get your new a yeah. smart TV. Yeah, there you go. But so. uh, we just want to invite you. It'll be at five o'clock to seven o'clock. A great alternative to to uh, Halloween, Amen. you know. Amen. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna edify God Amen. while we are during this time. A great time. Well, we're talking about how much God cares about you. I'm gonna give you another scripture in Ephesians two thirteen. And now in Christ Jesus, you who are once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Amen. Well, we believe <laughs> that it is the blood that has cleansed us and made us whole so that we have access into that union with Christ. Amen. We've been ad adopted. We're no longer far off from God. Now we can be close to God. And I think that's really what we've been trying to say to you this week is it's really about your relationship mm -hmm. with the Lord. You know, when I got saved, I wasn't looking for a religion. I was looking for a relationship. And this is what I love about Jesus is that it's a personal relationship that affects every area of my life, you know, Amen. praise and, God. And it's what we talked about the other day when we were talking that we've been adopted into yes. the family of God. Amen. And uh, adoption carries just as much weight yep. as a natural born Absolutely. child. Absolutely. And that's the way God looks at us. Amen. We are his children. Amen. This scripture in Hebrews 13, 5 says, Keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so many times our lives are, um, are revolve around the things that are going on and really money or, you know, uh, uh, relationships in this world, you know. And the one thing I've found about this right here, everybody else may leave you, but God will never leave you. That's right. You know, he will never leave you. And that was, that was uh, written in Jesus. Jesus said this right here, his last words on the cross was, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And what Jesus did, Jesus took our sin so that we would never be so left we, alone that's right. from God again. Amen. Amen. We that's don't right. have to do that. Praise God. That's right. When John 15, 15, it says, No longer do I call you servants, mm. for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. Hallelujah. Ooh, praise I am God. a friend of God. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. This is Jesus talking about the words that he speaks or God's words. And the, the examples he shares of his life were God on this earth. I wonder if how many people would say, Jesus is my casual friend. Yeah. You know, not my intimate friend. Not my friend, intimate you know, friend. The, the one, one that, that I call. The one that you can tell anything yes, to. Yes, tell you anything know? to. Yeah. You know, the, the, because of this, uh, when I think of an intimate friend, that's someone you'll tell your heart to. Yep, you'll pour yep. your heart out to. And they want you know, knowing that they're not going to reject you. You that's know, right. well, not. because they love you, they care about you. They don't just care about who you are, what you have. They care about you. That's you right. Yeah. I love and this next verse. Isaiah forty nine fifteen mm -hmm. says, "Can a woman forget her nursing child, that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb?" Even these may forget, yet I will never forget you. Wow, that closest relation, that bond that's created he, by he, a mother and a child. Right, yeah, he's showing right. us that his his is even greater than that. Oh, man. And if you are been a mom and you've nursed, and even if you weren't able to nurse, you know that, uh, what, what do they call them, mama bears? I tell you what, you don't mess with their children, do you? Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. And that's the way it is. And that's the way he is. He's Papa Bear. He is. And he's taking care of us. He's <laughs> watching out for us. And sometimes we forget how much uh, concern and compassion he has yes. for us. But he does. And like I said the other day, Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father saying, Father, I know how they feel. Yes. And he has this great compassion on us. 
And so you, you be encouraged to know that he cares about you. Let me read this last yes, scripture. This, I, this, this, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Listen to this. Who comforts us in all our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Mm-hmm. When, when, Marcia, when we understand that, that and we, we receive that comfort from God, we're able then to minister to others Amen. that God wants to comfort you. And it, we're not just quoting something. We are, we are, can I say it this way? We are regurgitating something that we have lived. There's a Amen. big difference between something, somebody just telling a story and somebody having lived that having story. Having yes, yes. You know, the greatest testimony of all is your life yes. and just sharing your life. You know, people say, I can't lead others to Christ. You don't have to have uh, preach to them. All you have to do is let the word of God come out of your mouth of, of what God did in your life. Let others see the intimacy that you have with Amen. him. That relationship how that relationship has changed your life. And that people will come to Christ over Amen. that. We hope this week has really encouraged you in building your relationship with the Lord and understanding he does care about yeah. you. And, you know, I know our minds say things, but God cares about you. Know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, how much he loves you and cares for you and wants to nurture you. God bless you. See you Sunday. God bless.